channel. So today, I said channel weird, whoa. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a super easy, super, 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 that's right. Super easy recipe. Um, it's literally foolproof. It is a copycat KFC famous bowl. What happened? You're okay. It's a super easy um, copycat KFC famous bowl. Uh, if you know, oh, that's what I forgot. So this recipe only calls for one, two, three, four, five items. It's corn, any kind of sweet corn, um, some gravy, some cheese, my toddler, he, uh, he doesn't, you don't include him, some popcorn chicken, and some mashed potatoes. So this recipe is literally like so good. Um, and it's so easy. I do get my popcorn chicken from my deli. Oh, yeah, you can have some. Um, I get mine from the deli. It's super cheap. Like this package right here, it's just a little more than half a pound. And it's only $2.75. So I like this one from the deli because it's fresh. It tastes good. Um, but yeah, so first things first, I'm going to do is make some mashed potatoes. Um, just remember to make the serving size according to your family. Make mashed potatoes if you make more mashed potato. Um, and yeah, I'm not gonna make too much mashed potato just because it's just me. Okay, hold on. It's just me and my toddler um, eating. So I'm not gonna make a huge serving, but I'm going to show you um, mm, popcorn chicken so good. So, um, I'm going to start my mashed potatoes, and then while this is cooking, or while my mashed potatoes water is boiling, you know what I'm talking about? If you want to make homemade mashed potatoes, by all means, do you. But me, I'm making this as simple as simple, simple, simple. Um, but while I'm making mashed potatoes, I'm going to just put this can of corn in a bowl and microwave it for about two and a half minutes, right? Yeah, two and a half to three and a half minutes, yeah. I'm going to do two and a half minutes. Then I'll drain it and then I'll just set it to the side. So. I didn't even realize that my little one was literally sitting in the background eating the popcorn chicken until I was just editing this video. His face just says it all. He's clearly enjoying it. Take another bowl and I'm just going to pour this gravy into the bowl and then into the microwave and that's it. I mean you could do it on the stove top if you want to. Um, I'm just going to save me some time and just throw it into the microwave. with this recipe too that you can totally um, put everything into a baking dish too afterwards and then throw it in the microwave for a little bit just to get like everything like the cheese all melted and stuff like that. I personally um, have done it. I've done it that way uh, with what I made this with my husband uh, but for today I'm literally just going to put mashed potato, put the popcorn chicken, put the corn and then put the gravy and then and cheese. Did I say that already? I don't know, but I'm just going to do it that way. Um, the popcorn chicken, you can keep it, um, if you make fresh popcorn chicken, you can keep it, um, fresh? I don't know how to explain it. Um, or, you can warm up the chicken too. Um, you can throw it in the, I'm going to throw mine in the toaster oven quickly. Um, and I'm going to, um, air fry it for a little bit so I'm just throwing mine in the air fryer and I'm just going to put that on like 350 
for like just a little bit and I'm gonna air fry it, get it nice and crispy. My gravy's done. Yeah, I'm going to just put it in the air fryer for a little bit just to get crispy. Um, you can always totally put it in the microwave if you want or you can even bake it in the oven. Whatever you prefer, I saw that. Uh -huh. So, where do I pink pink up here? So I'm just gonna grab my gravy. Ooh. Also, these things are godsend. I got them off Amazon. Um, it's a pack of, there's four of them, so um, I really like them. Um, they're really nice and they're convenient. So yeah, I already have the gravy done, I have the corn done, and I got the mashed potatoes done. So now I'm just waiting for popcorn and chicken, and then I can just put them all together, guys. It's literally such a quick and easy dinner. To make the bowl, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you've had a famous bowl, you know what to do. But you're gonna just do your mashed potato first. On the bottom. I'm gonna make his bowl while I'm doing mine. Um, so just some mashed potatoes. And then on top, you can just do the popcorn chicken, which I'm just gonna drop over here. Okay, so I got my popcorn chicken. Next, I'm gonna do my corn. Which I didn't drain my corn, but whatever. Just gonna plop it in there. Let me show you guys that for a Literally it. It's so easy. It's so good. Um, feel free to add whatever, I'm so crooked, feel free, feel free to add whatever you want to it. Um, I really like just this, just how it is. Like I said, I don't add salt to my food, but it's so good. Uh, let's give it a taste test. That's not yours, babe. Well. Give it a taste test, some chicken, corn, gravy. Mm-hmm. So good. Definitely love the KFC Famous Bowl at home. Probably a little bit healthier than if you actually were to go to KC, KFC, probably. Um, but yeah, save your bucks, make it at home. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this little video. Let me know if you guys make it too. Um, my little one's eating it now. He likes it. Is it good? Wow, look at your hair. Is it good? Did you like your food? Don't take it. I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye.